All right, question 3A. CSEC Maths, May 2017. What does it say? What does 3A say? The universal set U is defined as follows. So, U is X, any number X, such that X is a member of the set of natural numbers. And X is greater than 2 or less than 12. So X is between 2 and 12, but it does not include 2 and 12. The set M and R are subsets of U, the universal set, such that M is the set of odd numbers and R is the set of square numbers. All right? You must list the members of the set M. Let's see now, odd numbers. There is can be 1 because x is supposed to be greater than 2 and 1 is less than 2. So 1 cannot be one of the x's. 3 can be. So we have 3 as one of the square numbers here. So 3. Remember, it's a set. So we use curly brackets, right? 3, comma. Four, then you have 5, comma. 6, then you have 7, comma. Eight, then you have 9, comma. Remember, it's odd numbers. You have 11, comma. Um, that's it. The next odd number would be 13, but 13 would be greater than 12. X must be less than 12, so 13 would not be one of the X. And so we close our curly brackets. All right, good. Then list the member of the subset R. The subset R. Let us see. R are the square numbers. So you square a number to get those. So open bracket. Let me see. One, 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 two, two is four. Three, three is nine. So you have nine in it. Because four, two, two is four, but four. No man. You have four. Four is one of them. Because the first set was odd numbers only. But this can be square numbers, whether it's even or odd. They don't tell they don't say you must restrict it to only odd numbers. So it can be even. Two two is four. Three three is nine. Four four sixteen. Sixteen would be too big. Sixteen would be bigger than twelve, and it must be smaller than twelve. So only 4 and 9 works for this. Good. After that, they say draw a Venn diagram that represents the relationship among the defined subsets of the universal set. Now, our Venn diagram. For our Venn diagram, we're going to have a rectangle. Alright? So we have our rectangle. Then inside the rectangle, we have two universe, two subsets. First of all, what we have here is our universal set U. The subsets now, let's see how those will be. Are they going to overlap? 
Yes, because you have nine in both of them at the same time. So, if we have one of them here, I'm sure I can draw them bigger, right? The two circles with an overlap, they overlap at a certain point. Let's say you have M. This is M and this is R. I know that 9 will be the, in the intersection. So we have 9 right here. Good. 3 is in M alone. So 3 you have in M only. 5 in M only. 7 in M only. 9 is in both and 9 is there already. 11 in M only. <coughs> All right. We have anything in R only. Yeah, 4. 4 is in M but not in... 4 is in R but not in M. Now, what about the other numbers? You have other numbers there now. It's just that you don't have them in M and you don't have them in R. So, 2. No. 2 is not one of the numbers because x must be greater than 2. If it said greater than or equal to 2, then you could consider 2. But, yeah, you would have to consider 2. But the thing is, x must be greater than 2. It's a natural number, greater than 2. So, within the universal set, you have 3. Four there already five. I don't see six, so you have six. Seven is the you have seven already. Then eight. Nine, you have nine already. Ten, I don't see ten yet. Eleven, you have eleven already. What about twelve? No, because it's a X must be less than 12. So you can't include 12. Alright, so that looks good so far. Any question or comment? Leave them in the comment section.